In this video, we're going to experiment and look at the law of reflection. So here we have a ray box uh, with a single beam of light. Now the beam of light is running down the normal, which is at 90 degrees to the mirror. Now the mirror is, the position of the mirror is shown with these hatch lines. Now this is a plane mirror. Okay, so we place the mirror against the um, mirror line and we'll notice that basically as the beam comes in, our incident beam, it will be reflected straight back. So it basically bounces off the plane mirror. So what we're going to do is we're going to produce a table and see what happens to the angle of reflection at different angles to the normal. So the angle the beam came into the um, mirror was zero degrees and the angle it came back because it bounced straight back was zero degrees. Okay. So now what we're going to do is to place the incident rays at different angles. So using our protractor, we're basically going to, in this case, we're going to mark off at 20 degrees from the normal. Notice we're going from the normal. All right, so we draw our line. Now this will be our line that we're going to position at our incident ray. We place our mirror against the um, diagram of the mirror line. So we put it in the same place all the time. So now what we can do is move the ray box so the beam is running right along the incident beam. Now you can see that the beam, the reflective beam, is bouncing off the mirror, okay, and coming straight out. And we're going to measure the angle to the normal of this ray. So I put a dot there. I'm going to join it up to the center of the normal and the mirror boundary, just like that, marking with an arrow, as you've been taught. And I'm going to measure the angle from the normal to the reflective ray. There we go. And you can see it's 10, approximately 23, 23 degrees. Okay, so I'm going to write in, in my table, at 20 degrees of the incident ray to the normal, it comes out at around about 23 degrees for the reflective ray. Okay, so we're going to do another beam. So I put my protractor, so 90 degrees is running up the normal, and I'm counting from the normal. And in this case, we're going to do 40 degrees. So this is 40 degrees from the normal, or from the incident ray to the normal. So I draw my line in, put my arrow in to show the direction. So remember that was 20 degrees here. This is coming out at 40 degrees. So I place my beam along the 40 degree incident line. Put my mirror on. And now I'm going to mark where the reflective ray comes out. So it comes down the 40 degree, bounces off the mirror, and comes out here. So I'll join this up. There we go. Put my arrow in, show that it's bouncing away. And now using my protractor, I'm going to measure the angle from the normal to the reflective ray. And we see it's 10, 20, 30, ooh, round about, what is that? 38 degrees. So it's very, very close, isn't it? So it starts off at 40 degrees and comes out at 38 degrees. Notice my 20 degree was coming at 23 degrees. So let's do another angle. So in this case, I'm going to 10, 20, 30, 40, 50. I'm going to do a 60 degree angle. Join it up to the normal. Put my arrow on, show that the line's coming in. Place my mirror on. And now I'm going to move my ray box so it runs down the 60 degree incident angle line. Make sure I get it nice and straight as best I can. That's it. 
Now in each case, I've tried to mark on the middle of the beam. There we go. So it's coming down, bounces off the mirror, and I'll mark where the reflective ray is coming up, and I will join back up to the normal. And there we go. Put my arrow in to show it's bouncing away. And I'll measure from the normal to my reflected ray. Ten, twenty, thirty, forty, fifty, sixty two. Okay, so I'm going to put this in back into my table. So when I've got an incident ray of 60 degrees, I've got a reflective ray coming off of 62. Note how similar they are at the moment. We're going to do one more. And this one we're going to do at 80 degrees. So I'm going to count 80 degrees from the normal. 10, 20, 30, 40, 50, 60, 70, 80. So there's my 80 degree dot. Join it up to the normal. Place my arrow in, mark it so it's clear. Place my mirror on. And notice by drawing the line beforehand with, for the mirror, I always put it in the right position, same position each time. That's good fair testing. OK, run the beam along the 80 degree line and mark off where the reflective ray comes out. So just like before, I'm going to join that dot up to the normal. Put in my arrow to show that it's bouncing off. And measure from the normal to my reflected ray. And in this case, it comes out exactly at 80 degrees. So I mark this on my table, 80 degrees. Alrighty, so basically we see that when we look at the angles of the ref reflected ray and the angles for the um, incident ray, we notice that for a plain mirror, the angles are always going to be the same. So that the angle of reflection is always the same as the angle of incidence. And this is the law of reflection for plane mirrors. Basically, the incident angle equals the reflective angle. OK. So we've proved our law. Thanks for watching.